I've noticed that most people have misconceptions about how twins form. This video will explain it all clearly at once. Under normal circumstances, males release about 300 million sperm each time. However, the quality of these 300 million sperm varies greatly, and fewer than one in a million have the ability to swim to the egg, meaning no more than 300. Females generally only release one egg per month, and each egg is loyal, only pairing with one sperm. So how do twins form? There are two types of twins, fraternal twins and identical twins. Fraternal twins are more common. In some cases, a woman's body may be affected by food or medication, causing abnormally high levels of gonadotropin, which can stimulate more than one ovarian follicle to mature. This can lead to the release of multiple eggs in one cycle. If two eggs are both fertilized, fraternal twins form. Since each fertilized egg has different DNA, the twins will have noticeable differences in facial features and appearance after birth. The relatively rare male-female twins also fall into this category. What about twins who look almost identical in appearance and body shape? These are identical twins, formed when a single fertilized egg splits. Depending on when the split occurs, there are four subtypes, especially the fourth type, which is extremely rare. The first type of identical twins. After fertilization, the egg travels along the fallopian tube toward the uterus, a process that takes several days. If the fertilized egg mutates during this period, it splits into two independent individuals. This is called dichorionic diamniotic twins, the most common type of identical twins. They each have their own placenta and amniotic sac. If the split occurs four to eight days after fertilization, after the fertilized egg has implanted in the uterus, they can only share one placenta, though each still has its own amniotic sac. However, sharing a placenta may lead to nutrient competition, often resulting in one fetus being larger than the other. If the split is delayed a few days, occurring 8 to 13 days after fertilization, the fertilized egg has by then developed into an embryo and formed the basic structure of the membrane sac. If it splits at this point, they must share one amniotic sac. This type of monochorionic monoamniotic twins is riskier as the chance of umbilical cord entanglement increases significantly during fetal movement. If the split occurs even later between 13 and 15 days after fertilization, the embryo has already formed its basic cells and structures, making complete separation nearly impossible. The twins may share some body organs, resulting in rare conjoined twins. Such twins rarely develop fully to term, and even if they are born, they face many health challenges. Finally, we sincerely wish all mothers around the world a smooth delivery of healthy and lovely babies.